Hi, this is Chevy Cool Lady. I'm so glad you stopped in. I just wanted to give you a little comedy routine. This is something new to me, so it's practice, and I'd love to hear a response back from you. So here goes. Years ago, I had uh, moved to Houston, Texas. I was 40 years old, and and kind of was going through an empty nest syndrome type of deal. My daughter said, "Come on down here and be a debt collector with me." Oh, I had worked in a few restaurants here and there and babysat and spent a lot of time with kids because I have six. And I was kind of living out in the country for quite some time. And I became a very, um, uh, traveled in small circles, put it that way. <laughs> so I said, well, you know, things aren't, aren't that great up here. So I might as well try something different. So I moved down to Houston, Texas to be with my daughter and, and work in a call center with her. How many people have worked in call centers? Okay, there's different types, you know, some sell things like insurance. Or one of my friends said the worst job he ever had in a call center was he was taking internet leads for the miracle year. His job was to call them back. <laughs> so you can imagine. Hello, I'm calling about information on the miracle ear. Huh? I can't hear you. Okay. <laughs> Product is everything in sales and your sales approach. I wasn't in the sales aspect of it. I was in the debt collection end of it. And people would be always like, oh, when they meet me. You seem like such, you seem to like such a new, nice person. I was like, oh, I am. It's just a job. It's just a job. Do you ever collect money? Surprisingly, I do. Surprisingly, I do. You see, you have to know how to be nice and how to talk to people or people are just going to hang up on you. So you learn to develop some skills so that you can actually get people to pay you. It's, it's, it's like a miracle happens. <laughs> That someone on the other end of the phone is giving me all their banking information. Now, there's different types of collection. There's auto deficiency or collecting on late mortgages and that type of bills going to get paid. People need a place to live, a car to drive, you know, self-explanatory. My first job in collections and this is years ago, 20 years ago, when cell phones were new and they used to just gouge the prices off with the new technology that, you know. Anyway, so I worked for a uh, uh, cell phone, a defunct now cell phone company called Cellular One. Cellular One, I never even heard of it. So anyway, they sent me in a little a line of cubicles and, and uh, put me on what's called a dialer and you have your little headphone and it just dials and dials and you know you get to chat with people up the line and all of a sudden somebody picks up their phone your a file will flash on your screen and someone's in your ear it's startling as hell it's just sometimes you don't even realize it and you're still talking <laughs> and sometimes it's names you can't pronounce it's all consonants or all vowels Aola. <laughs> hang up mm, anyways yeah sometimes you talk to the same people every week sometimes sometimes people get the call figure out who it is and never pick up again some people pick up every single week it's crazy and it's usually someone whose name is just crazy to say I remember one time I had someone on the line named Guillermo Gulamero, and I don't think I'm even saying it right, something like that. It had a G and a U and I, E's and L's and E. I don't, it was crazy. But anyway, he picked up every time I called and we called every day. So, you get to know people. How you doing today, Gulamero? I'm fine, bueno. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, so. You know, I can tell you a million stories from that collection agencies because, first of all, I didn't realize how little skill I had in speaking. I, I tend to act out 
my stories. I'm the youngest of five, and I just would jump up and, and we were dancing, you know, or whatever was going on. That's how I told the story. <laughs> like a mime, a mime that would throw in loud words from time to time just to keep you interested. That uh, noises, sound effects. <laughs> And I grew up this way, and I thought I could communicate all right until I was actually on the other end of the phone and realized I don't even use words. I don't even know if I know words. <laughs> I don't even know how to sell anything. I don't know what I'm doing, but somehow I was still collecting money. I, I did okay. You know, I kept my seat, and I pretty much went in commission, and I stayed in commission right through till the the bottom fell out of the economy then all of a sudden people realized one thing they don't have to pay these bills they don't have to pay them they're not going to come there's no debt or prison no one cares about this bill that's all <laughs> and that's all there was to it so <laughs> once people figure that out collecting became a whole new uh ball game and i had to learn how to uh Something popped on my screen and caught my attention. So, sorry to give you all that forehead there for a second. <laughs> we had a lot of fun in that collection agency. And, and like I said, I worked with my, my daughter, who who's just a little firecracker. She was a manager, and she was on her game. Little, tiny, petite, little, I think she was like 21, 22 years old. Uh, you know, she was just rolling, rolling. And, you know... We hung out together, and, and we hung out with her friends, so then a whole new uh, culture really came from that. Um, Southwest Houston, Southwest Houston, oh my, a town with a whole lot of flavor. There's pretty much any type of food you could ever imagine have. There's uh, just hustles, hustles. Everybody has a side hustle. You need shoes, you need a purse. What do you want? And Collections is one of the number one networking agencies of hustlers of all kinds. I worked with rappers. I worked with just uh, retired people, but mainly young people, mainly black people. I was pretty much the only white person there. And, you know, when you're around people, especially if you're me, you pick up the words. I wasn't trying to do it. Just, I'm hearing these words and... They're just coming out my mouth. I'm hearing the music, you know, and I'm knowing it. I'm, I'm learning a whole new culture. It was great. It was awesome. And 